Here are some common misconceptions in electricity. So even with how much we know about electricity today, there are still misconceptions on how it has an impact on the human body and society. Electricity can be quite dangerous, but probably not as dangerous as we may think, depending on the circumstances. Knowing what is dangerous and what is not can put people at much lower risk and keep the world a safer place. So the first misconception is that a car is a dangerous place to be in during a thunderstorm. This is a very common misconception among all types of people. It is prevalent because people think that since a car is run with electricity, they could be injured when being inside one. A tree sounds like a much more reasonable place of shelter to a lot of people because of its height and how it's natural or without any form of electricity. Knowing that a car is actually much safer than what people think is important because it could save them in life or death situations. For the truth behind it, on average, about 330 people get struck by lightning every year in the U.S., and 51 of them die as a result. If you are caught outside in a storm, always look for appropriate shelter. Studies show that the best types of shelter one can take in is in a building or, in fact, a car. Now, even though that's true, being inside a car doesn't necessarily guarantee 100% protection against lightning due to its rubber tires. But being in a car is a lot better than just anything, like just standing outside in the storm. If you are not near good shelter otherwise, just avoid going under any trees. The second misconception is that high resistance light bulbs are brighter than low resistance ones. People who have this misconception probably don't know much about how factors such as resistance, voltage, current, and power are connected. The incorrect story is that electrons move happily together through low resistance wires, but when they come to the bulb filament, they find it difficult to squeeze through and all the jostling transfers energy to the filament, which we experience as heat and light. This is a common misconception, especially when people are trying to replace a fused bulb. They try purchasing bulbs with higher resistances. What happens is that a higher resistance bulb decreases the current everywhere in the circuit, so the higher the resistance, the more the jostling. Slower moving charges transfer energy to the bulb at a lower rate so that it's dimmer. More flow equals more glow. That means that the brightness of bulb bulbs is technically going to be the same. Resistance alone doesn't impact the brightness of a bulb. Ohm's laws takes factors such as voltage and current to resort to instead. The third misconception is that wearing metal jewelry during a thunderstorm increases your level of electric shock. This misconception can impact both men and women. Men have watches and women wear all types of jewelry including such. This is a common misconception because lightning will try to shock anything that can conduct electricity and metal is a conductor. Technically, nothing necessarily attracts lightning, but it can damage things that will be changed by it. Because of this idea, people develop fears of wearing metal jewelry, but showing them the facts will make those fears disappear. Your ring or necklace will only draw a lightning channel to it if it's less than a couple inches away. The one valid claim against wearing jewelry is that in the event that you were hit directly, the lightning may flow through any metal on you, superheating it and causing burns. But in that case, burns would be the least of your problems. Just because you happen to have piercings on, you don't automatically become the ideal target of a lightning strike. Lightning is not coming for you. It hits the closest and largest thing to it. Jewelry is so small compared to other things, so jewelry should be the least of your worries. So now, the next time you're going outside and there's a thunderstorm, you know what to do.